Assalamualaikum and a good day to all. Hope everyone is in good health and keep stay at home. Today, I would like to explain a very famous virus of the year, the coronavirus. My content will consist of history, taxonomy, structure, and the virality of the virus. Coronavirus first characterized in 1965 by Tyrell and Magnol, and it was named coronavirus from the corona denoting which is crown-like appearance of the surface projection, and it was later officially accepted as a new genus. In 1990, a large pandemic occurring at two to three years into old, causing by coronavirus, which have been identified containing human strain. And it was divided into three groups, group one and group two are human strains viruses, and group three was made up made up of uh, avian infection, bronchitis virus, and a number of related avian viruses. In 2001, a novel group 2 coronavirus has been identified, named HKU1, from Hong Kong. Unfortunately, it cannot be further studied because it can't be cultured. In 2002 to 2004, a large, a large infection has been reported in almost 29 countries and it was a SARS infection, which uh, stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Related Coronavirus. And the last case reported was on April 2004. And the latest one is in 2019 December, which is identified as COVID-19 SARS Coronavirus 2. Uh, and it's also a novel coronavirus. Coronavirus is from the order of Nidovirales, family Coronaviridae, and from genus Coronaviridae. The special uh, description was because of its spherical enveloped particles, which have petal shaped surface projection, and a coronavirus particle are homogeneous in size and distinctly spherical. The envelope exhibit an unusual thickness almost twice of that typical biological membrane, and the nucleocapsid is helical and tightly folded into form a compact structure that tends to close following the envelope. So as you can see, this is the structure of coronavirus, and you can clearly see the spike glycoprotein, which has a crown-like appearance, and this spike glycoprotein is actually uh, the one that causes the virality of the virus. For the coronavirus to bind to the host cell, it needs a receptor known as ACE2. ACE stands for angiotensin converting enzyme. That is a key player in regulating renin angiotensin system in human body, a system that regulates human blood pressure. Once the spike protein binds to ACE2 receptor, transmembrane serine protease bind and cleaves ACE2 receptor and activate spike protein. This process facilitates the viral entry to the host cell. Once inside the cell, the RNA only function when it's cut into smaller pieces by protease. This COV19 protease is two consists of two identical protein subunits, as you can see, colored orange and red, coming together to form a functional protease. Similar to lock and its key, protease activity is triggered by binding molecules to the specific points on the protease called active site. The binding of a substrate effectively switches this protease on, allowing it to cut the long viral protein strand to smaller chain. And by attaching inhibitor, to active site will stop the process. If the process haven't been stopped by inhibitors, the RNA then will be replicated in the host cell and producing tons and lots of new viruses. The process of coronavirus entry and replication, the production of antigen in human body, and also the activation of humoral and cellular immunity system producing a lot of cytokines. This 
cytokine when overwhelmed are known as cytokine storm is a condition a deadly condition of uncontrolled system inflammatory response resulting from the release of the large amount of pro-inflammatory cytokines and also chemokines. This will lead to acute respiratory distress syndromes known as ARDS and also can, have, can produce a multiple organ failure and finally lead to death in severe cases of SARS coronavirus 2 infection. Hope this will help uh, to know the virus better. And thanks for listening. Stay home, stay safe, stay positive. Bye.